Hi, I'm Don, and this is The Hobbyist Geek. And today we are continuing our Ecto build. We still working on issue 19 here, but these are the parts for issue 69. I can't wait to see what we got here. Let's crack it open and see what's inside. All right, here are the parts we get with this issue. And I mean, just this one piece alone is so big, it doesn't even really fit on my workspace here. Uh, this is the body middle frame, and we've also got uh, these two steel wires. I'm not sure what those are for. And we've got three wire covers, uh, all on this sprue here. Uh, they are listed as wire cover A, B, C, and what's odd is they do seem to be Labels, so I guess they're different. I can't see a difference other than uh, this is flat on this side, and these are not. But there is an L and an R on here, so definitely different. Uh, and then some screws. All right, to kick this off, we're going to take the middle frame here, and you've got these support bars here and here. These are really just for shipping and they now need to be removed. So I'll just unscrew them and pop them off. Uh, <clears throat> all right, and with those removed, uh, those can actually go in the garbage. They are no longer required. And now what we're gonna wanna do is bring out the front frame from the last issue here. And we're gonna flip this thing over you can see there are three posts here and three holes here. This is just gonna fit over. Should slide in. Yeah, just like that. So one, two, three. And we're gonna use LM screws in each of those holes to hold it in place. All right, with those in place, uh, we can flip this on its side. And we've got a hole right here, another LM screw will go in there, and another one on the opposite side. All right, and with that in place, we've got the front and middle frame connected. All right, for this next part, we're gonna take out uh, the front bumper and headlights that uh, we assembled, I don't even know when, way back when. And there are three screws here, here, and here that need to come out. And then you can pop this off right here. No worries, this will be back on here shortly. These are AP screws. If you are uh, keeping in storage, uh, you're not going to need them again, uh, at least not right now. Next up, you're going to want to take the headlights. Uh, this is uh, cables O and P from uh, the last few issues. You're going to have to disconnect them from the rest of the frame. Uh, we're going to start with O here. And really what we're just going to do is we're going to take these LEDs. We're going to pop them into the headlights here. And there we go. We got uh, the left headlights in. And now we will repeat the process for the right. This is cable P. Okay. And now that we have those in place, what we're going to do is we're going to bring this across like this, right along the middle here. And what we're going to do is we're going to trap that in there with the center one. So this is not the one marked left or right. And we're gonna place it just like this to hold those cables in place. All right, and what we're gonna do here, we're gonna use a PP screw right through there this is where we pull this back up and that's going to go 
right back where it was before. I'm going to use that PP screw to hold it in place. All right. And with that in place, you can uh, repeat the process here and here using the left and right cable channels here. That's the left, we'll do the right. PP screws for both. And there you go. Now you've got both headlights installed and uh, channeled through here. Actually, I forgot one little bit here, and that is these metal things, little metal strips here with the little uh, curly cues on the end. Uh, basically, what you got to do is you got to put them uh, in the screw. You got to thread the screw through it first. And it's going to go up like this, and then you do it. Uh, you got to reverse it so that the uh, circles are facing up for this side so down on right up on left both of them angled a bit up like this all right and when you're done it should look something like this I have absolutely no idea what those things are for but I guess we'll find out later and there you go everyone, stage 69 is complete and we have added some serious size and weight to this frame. Uh, and it's nice to see some of those uh, cables that were just laying loose before finally getting a place. Uh, if you liked the video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day.